Serious, irrefutable, and infallible reasons. You're right. I take back everything I just said, Jasper. You're almost certainly correct. Shit, man! Oh! Where are... Where are my two items? I need them. I need my two items, chat. Alright, well, we got all the ravens. So I think we'll come back here later and grab those last two items. I want to go kill some Valkyries. Focus up, boy. Oh, oop. Even how it looks, he'll know how it tastes. That's right. <laughs> That's exactly right. Jazz, we're talking about uh, how much of a spy Od how much of a spy Odin is. He knows all and sees all with his disturbingly present ravens everywhere. Please remove your hands from me, sir! Thank you very much! Damn, dude, I don't know where the rest of these items are. I really don't. the rose indeed I agree <laughs> I agree with you Odin is a stupid nooblet I was a little bit disappointed with the amount of gods that you get to fight in the game after God of War 3 I was kind of expecting to just climb through all of them and kill them all but you only really get to fight the one major god and the two sons of Thor but the good thing is that does re leave room for really awesome god fights in future games so I'm kind of excited about that I can't find the eighth Valkyrie. Have you uh, have you beaten the game, Tubi? Because all of the all the Valkyries get marked on the map uh, after you after you beat the game, so they should just show up. And there, are, so I can also go ahead and tell you that there are four in the base area of Midgard, and then there are there is one in each individual extra area. So there's one in Helheim, there's one in Muspelheim, there's one in uh, Nilfgaard, Niffel no not Nilfgaard, Niflheim. I don't know why I said that, uh, and then. Helheim, Nivelheim, Muspelheim. Oh, and Alfheim. There's one in Alfheim as well. So you haven't been there as well. That you need to, you need to go there. Kratos plus Hormungandr. I butchered that name. I apologize. Versus Thor. That would be very cool. That would be cool. I'd be down for it. I would be down for it. All right. Uh, golly gee, Chad. We're missing all the items. So are these items? Wolf, you said these items are like indestructible things. Are they in dead bodies? Is that what you said? They're always in bodies? So we had to, we just had to break the bodies up? Are they just near bodies that are kneeling down? I have a tinfoil hat! Elvar! Jesus, I have my hands up. I promise you I have no threat. Please hesitate. I would I would prefer you don't do this. Your Mun Gunder. Ah, there we go. Is the roughest pronunciation. Alright, I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, is right. Odin cannot see you through that hat. That is the truth. And nothing but the truth. All right, let's go kill our ninth Valkyrie. Murder him. In cold blood. They're on bodies early, but occasionally just on the ground and corners are near broken shit. Eh. That's lame. I, I feel like I feel like in games like these, there should be a way. So, like, I really like that they showed you the location of the Valkyries once you beat the game. Even though we've found most of the locations already. Like, I think there should be some item you can get or something that helps you search out these things so you're not just blindly running around. But I get, I mean, I get that it's an achievement-based thing and that does make it harder. I don't know. I don't know. I just like being able to unlock stuff through achievements that I get. Alright, so we're going back to Midgard. And Tubi, let me know if you uh, need any more help outside of that with finding the, the, the last Valkyries. I can 
I or Chad can definitely point you in the right, the right direction. God, yeah, that's true. That's a fair point. They should have made Brockers it. Yeah, that exactly. That would have been fantastic. Because then you actually had to grind up stuff to get it. Exactly. Yep, I completely agree, Wolf. I completely agree. Or sell an item per area that like, ha like it doesn't even have to show it on the map. It could just point it. It could point you in the right direction. But that's the other thing that's kind of lame, right? Like even when you find the treasure maps, where are these things? They're ridiculous. They they're pictures of like blacked out grayed areas that are just insanely hard to find, um, which even makes it more difficult, right? Like they, it's called it's literally called a map. It should it should put that on your map. I don't know. I don't know. Thank you for your help. You're a great streamer and very helpful dude to be absolutely, man. That's why I'm here. You guys are wonderful. And I like hanging out with you. I do. Very much so. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly, that's exactly what Fool said, Ducks. It's the turtle. Oh, that's another thing. I want to go check and see if we can go back and uh, talk to Freya. Like, we should be able to go back to the tur tortoise, right? We never have. Who drew this shit? It's the boy! It is the boy! Unforgivable. His artistic skills are negligible. Negligible at best. <laughs> I highly disapprove. You must learn the skills, my man. My boy. Sorry, not bad. Don't be fooled, Triangle. Only pretends to be nice to get your money. He actually hates us all. It's true. Elvar is 100% correct in, in saying what he just said. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Wait! <laughs> the cover up the mods! Thank you for uh, making sure that what Elvar said, the secret that we all know is the truth, doesn't actually get out there to the public. I appreciate that. I do. Highly. Utterly and completely. Oh, we should just teleport over there, because we've already found the land of the Valkyries! Alright, Queen of the Valkyries, here we come. We are ready for our hard, difficult, challenging, and fun fight with the queen. And we gotta figure out the lore behind it as well. No, we riot! Elvar, quell the rebellion. I'll send you your uh, money later on. Freedom 100%. That's indeed, that's actually completely correct, yes. Thank you for your good work, sir. That's right, we salute you, Jasper. Keep 07. <laughs> Keep 07. Oh, money, you say. Mm -mm -mm. Did I say money? I don't think I, I, I meant that at all. Beep. Boop. All right, so we just need to go over here to the Valkyries. There is a side quest here. Whatever, Lord Loki. <laughs> yes, right. Literally is. It's Lord Loki. It's fake news. I don't believe Dark Elvar. Well, to be. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad you believe the complete and utter truth that isn't true at all. Wait, what did I just say? Let's just forget this ever happened. <laughs> Let's overthrow Jasper? Legion, you would have to recruit me somehow to overthrow Jasper. It's the only way. You must find someone with more power than the all-powerful AI robot Lord of the World moderator Jasper. I like Remember the scene with the light of Alpha? I do, Dagum, yes. The Valkyries are of Valhalla, are they not? Where, where the boy pulls me out. You are correct. Valhalla. All right, let's listen to this. The hall of the Ain Heriar is their home within Asgard. But while there, they are subject to the scrutiny of the Allfather himself. And relations between the Valkyries and Odin were tense during my tenure as his advisor. Why? Well, that's an even longer story, lad. For now, why don't we look around for some clues? Clues, you say? All right, let's put all the heads on their uh, on their throats. Really, Dagger? You know what? I hadn't noticed that actually. I'm glad you pointed that out. You're back. Oh, cool! They're sitting on their thrones. I don't think she can hear you. <gasps> Loot! This is one. I think this is one of the treasure maps. It better be. Small portion of their owner. Yeah, it is cool. Let's actually upgrade. Let us upgrade. I think our shock pommel, I believe. Game of Thrones, whatever edition. You know, I've never read or seen Game of Thrones. And I'm kind of sad to say that. All right, there we go. We got one of the treasure maps. Feels good, man. Feels good. 
All right. So let's individual. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna go away from these because it, it's all gonna be cutscenes, and we're gonna we can talk ah, to them. Cool. Gondul. Beautiful Gondul. All right, I'm actually interested in this, so we're gonna sit through and uh, listen huh? to what they say about them. Beautiful Gondul. No story or anything. Uh oh, sorry, lad. The sight of Gondul always took my breath away. Gondul had a silver tongue, a sharp wit, and struck a figure so stunning it literally drove ah, me insane. That's very cool. Odin forbid her from setting foot in Midgard after a time, as insanity is not a welcome treat in Valhalla. Ducks. I know. Yeah. I'm glad you know. I'm Gunnar, glad you know, Ducks. Mistress of war. After any conflict, big or small, she would be first on the scene, sussing out the worthy spirits for a free trip to Valhalla. A gruesome task, but she took great pride in it. Any conflict? Impossible. It's true. She had help from her sisters, of course. But Gunnar was always first to arrive. Our judgment of the Fallen was unparalleled, and an invaluable resource to Odin. She was one of his favorites. So, Tubi, this is actually something interesting that I've, I've been thinking about lately. And I've been listening to other people talk about it as well. Uh, yeah, and, and I kind of agree with Wolf on this. If it was, if, if was going to be... If they had announced it as a... Not a remaster, but a remake, I would have expected, like, a lot of major changes, like... Uh, taking out a lot of the bugs and glitches that people were abusing, and maybe like a better balancing system. Um, but with a remaster, I think I think part of the problem is people are comparing the remaster to the like, and and this is completely what I've heard other people say, and I think I kind of agree with it to that like add-on patch that people had on PC already. So it's basically the same as that PC patch that like fixed everything. Uh, it, yeah, what, uh, isn't a remaster basically a retexture? I mean. I feel like in the past that's what people have expected. And I could be long, wrong. I would love to hear all of your opinions on it because I'm kind of interested in this. Um, they also are giving you a huge discount if you already own the old game on Steam, Ducks, which is pretty cool of them because it's not like Skyrim uh, or these... Uh, it hasn't been released like 10 times. I, I, it probably does need a graphical update, right? I was, I was, I was kind of considering... Uh, Considering playing through it, because it's been like literally 10 years since I played Dark Souls 1, and I remember almost nothing from it. Reselling games? <laughs> I don't think so. I'll give it the free to the people who have the original. It is really discounted. Like Skyrim did, but their special edition was out, they'd give you a free. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm kind of interested. Uh, I, I'm really not sure. I, I don't really have a strong opinion on this, so I'm, I'm definitely interested to see what people think about it, because th th these are pretty much the two opinions I've heard. The first is that, like, oh shit, this sucks! They're just gonna re-release the game pretty much th exactly how it was. Uh, and people had, like, really heavy expectations for it, and then the other is, like, the other opinion is, it's just a remaster, not a remake. We can really only expect, uh, graphical updates. That's kind of, like, the idea. But I don't know! I really don't know. I, I think I'm, I lean towards the, the later the, the second crowd, where it's like, for me personally, what I expect from a remaster is just basically graphical stuff. They're bringing the game up a little bit into the higher resolutions, but they're not uh, changing a whole lot. Is there a reason? Dude, I, I have no idea. I have not tried, because... We have, we, there's never been any hints, so I'm guessing there's no way, and that would be really cool. I actually had not thought of that 2B, but that would make an awesome DLC. I'd be really down for that. They address stability issues and make it so you don't have to deal with the hassle of installing D, uh, DS Fix, and then I'm down to buy it. Yeah, so that's what I've heard, and Dagum, I think I agree with what you're saying, personally. But, if you have another opinion, by all means, you are free to have whatever opinion about the, uh, the remaster you want. Uh, I just think it's kind of interesting to hear what people are thinking for it, thinking about it. Um... That's what's called Dark Souls Fix. That's right, DS Fix, and that's that's what I've heard. People that have problems with the remaster, m almost always they were people that were playing already on uh, DS Fix, which obviously fixes most of the major problems. Anyway, okay, let's 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 go ahead and listen to the rest of these. Yeah, that's because of DS Fix, right? The, it's, it's mostly a remaster that is ideal for console players. This is none other than Gerdrifol. I agree with that as well, Docs. That's what I've heard. I've heard that as well. Responsible for arming and training Odin's Inheriar. His what? His army, come Ragnarok. 
The entire reason Valhalla exists, you see. The Ain here you are, wait in the Great Hall endlessly, feasting, drinking, and fa- Ah, uh, fornicating themselves silly. When uh -huh. the begins, fornication him into service to fight on his behalf. <laughs> okay. Every fool had our hands full training that lot. This is actually really cool. You get to hear all the lore uh, related to the Valkyries. This, my friends, is Kara. Now, Valkyries are volatile by nature, but Kara... Volatile! Oh, ...is Wild Storm personified. Huh. A Wild Storm. Ban uh, Valkyries! Uh, Never. Collected. They are and nice. Air would and deadly. the fury of our storm would unleash. It was beautiful in a way, assuming you could find proper shelter. Our tears would cleanse the blood-soaked battlefields. Ooh, wow. You know... <laughs> your face is nice! Wow. Thank you, Elvar. I'm kind of interested to... Actually, I'm really interested to hear the reason that the Queen of the Valkyries, like, doomed them all to be in their mortal form. Because she's the only one who can turn them into that. So, it's going to be interesting to hear her lore, the lore behind her story whenever we beat her in a second. <laughs> and here I thought my last name was unpronounceable. This oh god, yeah. A chooser of the slave. You're right. You're, you're right. Not exactly lad. Bless you. Although that is what they're most famous for, and yes. by far their greatest responsibility. I love it. You've seen what happens to the dead without the judgment of the Valkyries. Hellwalkers. That's right. Rota, Gunnar, Skuld. Without them to clean up the aftermath of battle, hell overflows with souls meant for Valhalla. A sorry state of affairs. Rota must be beside herself. <laughs> that's right. That's right, Ducks. Please, no more sneezing in the channel. I don't know why you were, uh, what you were trying to say there. When we beat her in a sec, Jasper, just you watch. I'll bet you ten tokens. Not tokens. I don't even know if I can give out tokens. I probably should figure out how to do that. Ten bits that I beat her in ten tries. How about ah, that? Here we have air. The healer. A Valkyrie healer? Elvar! Enjoy your time in the Banner Oasis, my friend. I'll see you when you get back, dude. Very quiet. Very calm. Oh. Where our sisters were violent rapids, air was a gentle stream. She healed the wounds of both mortals and gods. And even a certain all-knowing sage who once drank too much and fell off a mountain. Ugh, not my proudest moment. Hey, Mimir! Mimir drank too much and fell off a mountain, and then she healed him. That's kind of nice of her. All right, two more! All right, Dagum, I'll take the bet. The manhammer was rigged, Elvar just whispered to me, he just said. Unban me immediately, you brute. No, Elvar, the manhammer is not rigged. It is wholly and completely fair RNG. Kappa. Well, well, Hilda, mistress of battle. She and Odin got on quite well, actually. Her and the other Valkyries, not so much. She would spend most of her time here in Midgard observing discord between the living and sewing some up herself from time to time. She lived for conflict. Some say she was conflict personified. I wonder what will become of her now that she's free. <laughs> Elvar, I promise you it wasn't rigged. That random person on your friends list was oh. lying. Once the daughter of a powerful chieftain, she fell defending him during a reaver attack. Orun was escorted to Valhalla but she chose to devote her afterlife to the pursuit of knowledge above all else. Quite unusual behavior amongst the constant drinking and feasting of her fellow Valhallian denizens. Ooh, that's How'd cool. How'd she end up a Valkyrie? Odin. He saw a kindred spirit in Olrun's single-minded pursuit of knowledge. He appointed her as a Valkyrie's resident historian. Oh, that's cool. All right, chat. Our time is now. The moment is here. We must beat this Valkyrie cruel lady, mistress of the world, now. On our first try, we're going to do it. I firmly believe that it won't happen. I mean, holy shit, lady. Wow, she has a lot of health. Oh, 
Okay. We gotta do this fight with our... With our axe, primarily. So we can knock her out of the air because she does have a lot of aerial attacks. Gonna go in all here. I hate blinds, man. All right, it's actually a decent first fight. Blind. We're gonna replace the blind, uh, and then I think we can do this. I, we got it down to a quarter health on our first try. Ten tries incoming, men and women. Let's do this. So having the body said see, uh, finish makes a big deal apparently because it takes like three times the damage you do. That would make sense. It make a lot of sense. Hey, what's up, Daku? Welcome in today, man. How has your day slash night been, dude? I could definitely see that, Wolf. I could definitely, uh, I could definitely see that. Yeah, the body said. I think it would be is is pretty much the same just if it's level seven. We have, you and the and you buy the level seven gear, uh, or you buy the evolved gear at level seven, whereas the other armor you have to level up all the way to level seven. Uh, but absolutely, yeah, we have pretty high vitality at hundred as well. Okay, so we're gonna keep blessing of frost, keep hell's touch. Um, I'm trying to think which ones we have here. You are not ready. Hello, ducks. Tipping hat, absolutely, dude. I love that emote, man. This one, uh, where is this thing? Let's let's grab it real quick. It's somewhere. I have it. I promise. Wait. Ah, oh, shucks. Ooh, Twitch really is having some weird issues today. Anyway, never mind. I take it back. But anyway, yes. By the way, I finished Change of Limits on PSP. Now goes to Sparta. Hell yeah. Elvar, how was the game? What would you rate it out of 10? All right, so let's get some Valkyrie resistance here. Oops. Uh, game burst travel speed and distance and evading. I like that. Increase damage of all axe throws. I like that for this as well for gains uh, fortification. Oh, that's it. We're going to keep that. We're definitely going to keep that. Um, action of the Valkyrie, keep that. And a boost of strength and burst of health and uh, health drops to critical lever levels. Let's, let's switch this one out. There's one that gives us a pretty high resistance to Valkyries. Uh, I think it's called Valkyrie something. Scale the mighty... Where is this thing? Streamlabs working here is it still broken. It should be working today. Uh, it was having some issues yesterday, but I think we are good to go. I think. <laughs> we will see. We've been getting uh, all the notifications 
of the day so far. Doesn't mean it can't be broken again, but <laughs> but I believe in it. I believe in you, Streamlabs. Please don't break. Uh, okay, what do? Where is this? Oh, ooh, let's put this on. I'm actually surprised we don't have this on already. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. And let's switch this out for. Uh, the defensive zone because this gives us a lot of healing. I like that one a lot. All right. Now he really is the Ghost of Sparta. He is. He should be the Ghost of Sparta. Should be. During playing, I remember I actually finished it once already. Oh, very cool. Pretty decent, although annoying at times, which I would say is probably characteristic for the past God of War games. Uh, same as over and over again. Yeah, I'd say that makes sense. Hmm. Interesting. Is really, really good. Nine demons, you agree? All right! I believe you guys. Maybe one day I'll play it. Uh, let's go ahead and do this again! The first fight was pretty good. And we have a resurrection stone and... Our fool! Jasper, thank you for the ten bits! Ow, what was that? Oh, that's what we want. We want the resistance to blind. I hate that attack. Give me the health, lady! Actually, a pretty bad fight. Uh, yeah, so we're we're gonna go grab the resistance to, to blind. I think. know very well how to how to get that or how to dodge the blinds so we really should just be doing that as well Also, can we talk about it? What? I didn't dodge that shit. <laughs> 